How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here, playing some Animal Crossing New Horizons for you guys today. And today I'm going to show you guys the easiest way that I've found to catch wasps. There's a couple things that you need to know before you catch wasps. Uh, first thing is you definitely want to have the item wheel, which is up on the D-pad. If you don't have the item wheel, it's going to be a lot harder to do this. Uh, because the item wheel actually pauses the wasps, like it freezes them in time. So that's very important, and you definitely are also going to need a net. Other than that, that's about all you need, the net and the item wheel. So I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to catch a wasp, and then after that, if you guys want to hang around, I'm probably going to show you guys a little bit of my island and maybe go do some questing and talk to my villagers and whatnot. So, all right, first step, we need to actually shake some trees and find a wasp nest. And as soon as the wasp nest drops, I like to have no items in my hand when I do this. Uh, as soon as it drops, we're going to start running away. And then after we run, maybe like 10 steps away, we're going to pull up the item wheel, switch to the net, and then quickly grab the wasp. Oh, here we go. Wow, first tree. Running away. Pull up the item wheel. See, it stopped him. And when I do that, when I switch to the net, my guy's going to face down right away. So it, it kind of helps on the redirecting too. Got it. Boom! Just like that, boys. Just like that wow that happened a lot faster than i thought so that's a really easy way to get wasps i've actually discovered that method and then i've got probably three or four wasps in a row without getting stung wow that is amazing <laughs> i can't believe the first tree i shook for you guys was it all right well let's go ahead and explore my village a little bit my my native fruit are peaches and I've been collecting other fruit as well. Oh, let's go say hi to Ozzy. Ozzy the koala. He is my favorite villager, but don't tell other people. Don't tell the other villagers. Hey, Ozzy. It's real cool to see so much of you today, old bear. Let's chat. Have you talked to the new person who moved here today? I'm going to talk with them lots. I'm going to talk to them till they're sick of me and we'll be bestest friends. Off I go, old bear. Wow, he's really excited to go meet. Uh, I think her name is Megan. We can go. We can go check out Megan. Uh, her house. Let's see. Open up my map. These are all my residents so far. I got Ozzy. I got Coach. He's a really fun character. He <laughs> he's always working out and doing exercises. We have Patty. She's like the nicest person. Megan is super nice. The big pink bear. She's kind of scary actually because she's so much bigger than my character. And then we have Diva. She's just a chill frog let's go say hi to them if we find them but i'm also going to be doing a little bit of fishing i got my coconuts here man this game is so much fun i've been playing so much animal crossing since it came out guys are you guys as addicted to this game as i am because man it is a great game i hear a i hear i hear a floating present yes there it is man i'm getting a lot of these lately Get my slingshot out. Another pro tip, guys. Be really careful when you're shooting down the presents because if it's going to land in a space that's c completely taken up by flowers or items, the, the present will just disappear. Like, for example, if the present dropped, like, right in the middle of these flowers, it might not even, uh, it might not stay. So just be careful about that. All right, let's see what we got. 5,000 bells. Thank you. Easy money, right? Oh, yeah. So, this is my house. Wanna, 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 wanna come on inside, guys? Come on inside my house. I'll, sh I'll show you around. I've only been playing the game for a few days, so my house is not, like, very decked out, but... There you go. Got my little workstation over here. Got my tea table. I'm listening to some heavy metal music. <laughs> Oh man, we could we could play a different song though. I like this song a lot too. Two days ago, these are all the songs I've collected so far. This is a really chill song though. I like this one. Got my uh, massage table right here. I kind of am going for like a Zen tea room slash massage parlor in this area of the house. This is my kitchen, over off to the left. I'm still working on expanding the kitchen kitchen slash dining room area. I got my coffee sign in my fridge. And oddly enough, if you open the refrigerator, 
Uh, you can use it to change your clothes? I, I thought that was a bit odd, but yeah, okay, Nintendo. Then I got my gas uh, range. You can even turn it on like that. Pretty cool. I'm working on uh, crafting my kitchen bench, but I don't have the materials. I'll show you what I mean. I just got this recipe recently. This one right here, the Ironwood Kitchenette. Oh, man, I want that so bad. It'll go so well with my uh, kitchen. But I don't have an Ironwood dresser or the cutting board, so... Still looking for those recipes or for those items in general. And let's go ahead and show you my bedroom, which is the up, uh, I shouldn't say upstairs, but the room right, right on to the back here. This is my bedroom. I'm still trying to pay off my loan that was like 500,000. I still have a bit. Uh, I have the same song in here. Now let's put the heavy metal song in here. I'm going to turn the volume down on it. I got my foosball table. Actually works. Um, I just changed the floor to the circuit board. My wife sent me that over. And I have the Animal Crossing New Horizons Special Edition Switch right there, which is actually what I'm using to play the game right now. So that's pretty cool. Got a koi right there and a goldfish up in that pot right on top of it. That's about it for my house so far, guys. I'll definitely keep you updated as I expand and customize my house. But for now, that's all I got. Head on back out and explore my island a little bit. I know you guys are probably eager to see what I've been doing. So I have a little picnic area right here. Been recycling the tires that I catch fishing. Just putting them there. Got a workbench. Eventually I want this whole area in this area anyways to be bamboo forest. So I've been removing regular trees and transplanting them elsewhere. And uh, just trying to get the bamboo to spread. Hey, there's Coach. Let's talk to Coach. Hey, yeah, uh, we meet again, Stubble. Let's talk. That bridge opens up so many more workouts, Stubble. So far, I've just been jumping the river to train agility. <laughs> but with a bridge, I can do endurance sprints, too. Man, Coach, you are just insane on the workouts. I got a little campfire here on my rocks. A little place to sit and look at the ocean and just think about life. Uh, that's my life thinking stool right there. Got a game of uh, Go right here. I put I like putting it outside because I like playing board games outside, but I haven't been able to craft any stools. I guess you could just sit on the ground. Ooh, that's a nice size looking fish, guys. I think we should go for it. That might be either sea bass or red snapper. Ooh, he bit right away. Ah, sea bass again. I've been catching nothing but sea bass all morning, I feel like. So let's just follow this uh, beach on down here and I'll show you guys a little bit. Oh, look at Coach. He's just chilling looking at the ocean, man. I love the things that the animals do. There's my Maui head. Got a big old beach area right here. A lot of sand. Let's pick up that sea snail while we're walking this beach. I think this is Coach's house. Yeah. So this is my airport, Dodo Airlines. This is where I travel to visit other islands. And this is where you guys can come to visit my island, which I'll be opening up my island for a live stream in the future. So definitely be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on by clicking that little bell. So that way you get notified when I go live. I'm gonna plant one of every tree right outside the airport. So as soon as you guys come out, if you need any fruit, you can grab it. Uh, this is an orange tree. I still need the apple tree I'll put right here. Of course, I got coconuts all over the place as well. This is Diva's house. I, ooh, do you guys see that praying mantis? Let's see if we can nab it real quick. Oh, he's not, he's not happy. Ooh, we got him anyways. You know which is even better are the uh, orchid mantis. They look like flower petals. They sell for even more. Oh, this is Diva's house. Let's see if she's home. Diva's the really friendly frog. I love that door and that door handle. I wish you could change your house to look like theirs. Theirs looks so cute. Oh, Diva's hard at work. Oh my goodness, I think that's the uh, fish that I gave her. That's hilarious. Oh no, I, I didn't want to actually open the, the dresser. I wanted to look at the fish. Can I do it right here? Oh, it turns off the light of the fish tank. That's cool. All right, let's talk to Diva. Sweet, this is really coming along. What you doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Check it out. I'm making a shell stool. 
This DIY stuff takes some major elbow grease, so I like to go all in on it. It's so worth the effort, though. You want to give it a whirl making a shell stool? I mean, you know, I can show it you if you want. Oh, sweet. She's going to give me the recipe. Thought you'd say that. All right, here's the recipe. Go study up. Ha, <laughs> study up. That's funny. I can learn that in one second. I can't wait to see how yours come out. There's nothing like building something with your own hands. True. Very true. Let's learn this recipe real quick. She said go study up. Huh, okay, sweet. I learned how. <laughs> I must have a big brain. Let's check it out. See what it looks like. Shall we? Ha, <laughs> get it? No pun intended. Oh. Oh, you know what, guys? That would be perfect for, uh, by my game of, uh, Go. My Go board. And all I need is five cowries? All right. Actually, ten. One for each side. All right, cool. See you later, Diva. Oh, I should have said goodbye to her. Oh, well. She said goodbye to me, at least. She's busy at working on her uh, DIY table anyways. Don't want to interrupt her. So this is uh, where my river meets the ocean. I built the bridge right here just so I could easily get across. But I can't wait until I can build more bridges. This is the uh, newest resident to my town. Her name is Megan. Let's go say hi to Megan. She is literally just moving in today. She is going to be the third new resident to my town, which means tomorrow I'm getting the town hall, guys. That is exciting. Hey, Megan. So I'll put the rug there and then that on top, or should the rug go there and that on top instead? I might be overthinking this. Oh, was I thinking out loud? I was just trying to imagine how my furnishings will look here. Man, see how big she is? She's a tall girl. But she's so cuddly and, and just nice. Uh, she just has a, a nice attitude. Look at her little blue paw prints under her feet. That's cute. See you later, Megan. Have fun uh, setting up your house. Look forward to seeing you out and about tomorrow. They don't really come out of their house until they're done, like, setting that up. I got cherries right here. That's nice. This is my pier. What I love to do, guys... Oh, that's, that's probably just a horse macro. I'm going to scare it away. What I love to do... That's a fishing pro tip. You guys ready for the pro tip? What you got to do, guys, is you got to make some fishing bait. You should know how to make fishing bait, but if you don't... You should have the recipe, I'm pretty sure. But this is important. You definitely want to make fishing bait right here with the manila clams. You dig them up all over the beach. Make the fishing bait. Come to your pier and scatter the bait because there's a lot of fish that you can only catch at the pier. I don't think that's going to be one of the fish I'm talking about. It doesn't look big enough, but we'll try. If it's a really big fish, it might be a blue marlin. It might be a tuna. It might be an oar fish. There is a lot of big money fish. Oh, there you go. Red snapper. That's like 2,000, I think, right there. Let's try one more time. I've caught an oarfish, a tuna, and a marlin back to back to back on this pier using uh, bait. Okay, never mind. That's, that's, that's a horse mackerel. I'm not even wasting my time on that one. But yeah, spreading bait on the pier. Excellent place. This is another crafting location I have. I like to have one crafting location on the west coast, one on the east coast. And then I have uh, Tom Nook's place in the middle. Let's see what's in here. Nook's cranny. I'm not sure if this upgrades like it does in the other Animal Crossing games, but I hope it does. Nothing really that great for sale, but actually, I guess I could sell these things and then I'll grab some more uh, flowers to plant. Let's see. I'm going to sell the red snapper, the mantis, the sea snail. The hyacinth wreath I'm going to give as a gift to my wife. And the wasp I will definitely sell. I don't even like looking at the wasp. It gives me creeps. 6,000 bells. Easy money. Let's go. All right, let's buy some more flowers really quick while we're here. And what kind of flowers? Mm. Let's do some more hyacinth. I like these. I'll buy five of those of the white. And then we'll buy five of the red. And we'll put them near each other. That way when we water them, they'll crossbreed and make different colors. Like pink and orange and all that good stuff. Which you normally can't buy. So it's good to plant different colors of the same plant next to each other. And then water them as much as you can. 
Another pro tip. Alright, since we got the, the flowers, I kind of want to go grab my watering can really quick. Oh, there's a wasp nest. I forgot to actually go pick it up. Silly me. Let's go pick that up. I need to actually save three of these because then I can make a beehive. We're working on that. This is Patty's house. I don't think she's home right now, but let's try. Oh, maybe she is. Patty was the uh, second person to move into my town. She's a nice, like, cow animal. Oh, wow. Her house looks so good. Wow, Patty. This has really come along. Look at that. She's even got a bunk bed. Can I get up there? It has a desk and a bunk bed. That is cool, guys. When I was a teenager, in real life, I actually had a bed and desk set up very similar to that. Wow, this is cool. All right, let's talk to her. What is it, how now? When I moved to a new house, the first few days there, I... This is weird, but it doesn't feel like it's mine. It's like I'm staying over at somebody else's place. But after a little while, like, it turns into home. It's warm and safe and your own little place in the world. I don't know if other folks go through that, but I do. And I thought I'd tell my bestie about it. <laughs> that is true, I guess, but... I don't know if we're besties, Patty. I, I pretty much am only besties with Ozzy, but... That's alright. We'll be, we'll, we'll be uh, very good friends. Alright, let's say bye to her. Oh, wow. She didn't want to say bye to me? Alright, whatever. Oh, now she does. Okay. Delayed reaction. That's alright. Alright, let's go plant these flowers, guys. I'm gonna go grab my watering can real quick. There's some more bamboo I planted. This area is gonna be a little zen area. See, I got this awesome Japanese lantern. I wish I could order more, but it's a special item, so I can't order anymore. So I just hope I get some more. Pretty much surrounding my town square with flowers as much as I can. Ooh, there's a bug. Let's get him. I'm gonna cut him off up here. I think it's a, an ant or something, like a special kind of ant. I forgot what they're called. I caught a tiger beetle. Oh, it's a beetle, I'm stupid. I pounce first. Got my clothes drying right there and my, and my clothes drying rack. All right, let's grab the watering can out of my storage real quick. The only thing about this game that I don't like that much is that your tools break and you have to always be crafting new tools. So what I like to do is I like to craft a lot of tools and then I'll put them in my storage. There's my watering can. Actually, I'm gonna take out that fishing rod because I got a feeling my other fishing rod is about to break. Hmm, now the question is where should I plant these flowers? Hmm, I wanna find a spot where I haven't really planted many flowers and I'm thinking that's probably gonna be like more up here. So let's, let's jump across the river real quick. And I'll just start planting some flowers here. Plant two white ones and two red ones. Actually, maybe one more red one. And then let's pull out my watering can. If you have the, the nicer watering can, it'll water six flowers at once. Watch this. You stand about right here and he will just get all of them. Boom, in one shot. Very useful. And let's move right over here and plant some more. Here's another empty spot. Hope you guys are enjoying the Animal Crossing content. If you do, please drop a like. It really helps me out and lets me know that you guys want to see more of this. Definitely subscribe. I'm going to be making more Animal Crossing in the future. I love the game so, so much. Ooh, there's a honeybee. Uh-oh. Can I grab him real quick? I missed! Oh, no! Oh, no! He flew away. I'm so bad. Oh, well. I don't think they're worth that much anyway. Hmm. All right, guys. Well, that's probably going to be about it for my little tour of my town. And I think next time I'll show off my museum. How does that sound? For now, I'll show you what it looks like on the outside. Oh, did I just see a butterfly? I think I did. There it is. Let's grab it. Gotcha. A tiger butterfly. If you guys see any of those blue butterflies flying around, they are worth over 3,000 each. The blue emperor butterfly, very profitable. Oh, there's a ladybug. 
No, I'm so bad. Oh man. Look at all the bugs. The best thing about having so many flowers all around your town is they're just constantly full of insects. I catch so many bugs this way. Got a little stink bug. What'd I do? Oh, catch five bugs. All right. Any Anything else? Let's see. No. All right, guys. Well, that's it. I just wanted to show you guys how to easily catch the wasps and give you a little tour of my town. Oh my goodness, even more. All right, let me catch this really quick. Got him. These ones are worth over a thousand, the paper kites. And with that, guys, I hope you enjoyed and I really hope to see you in the next video. This is Lucian's sword. I'm going to take a nap now. Take it easy, guys.